Today we are going to send the email to the user so your user can easily uh, activate the uh, account. So as you know we are using the data grid for the uh, managing our database. So as you can see we have a user uh, users tables. Now we are going to modify the tables and we are going to add another field for the users. I am saying you status, status. So we can uh, update the user so by default user is uh, zero okay so as you can see this is the u status value okay now refresh the page by default zero what you need go to the model and also you have to add one value so u status so these are the values which allowed uh, the system these are the values that means uh, you are saying your systems allowed for the right purpose that means someone insert the values in this one this one this one this one and also that this one but uh, a particular person or your systems cannot update the values for this one because it's not available here if you want to update or insert the values in any kind of field you have to add that particular field here so now as you can see you are accepting the values you are inserting the values in your database but uh, when you insert the values in the database then what happens you have to send a particular email to the user so your user can uh, activate the account for sending the emails you need to uh, add the settings uh, in your email sections so go to your config and also you have your email setting here so as you can see this is the email so now as you can see you have a lot of settings here but I'm going to use few things. So depending on your SMTP or systems, let's suppose uh, I have, I'm going to send the emails from my uh, cPanel. But what happens if you are using the AWS SES? Okay, so the settings are different because I'm using this setting because I'm going to send the emails from my cPanel account. So you can see the host name is this and I'm going to use outgoing SMTP port is 587 so now I have created the account for CI4 sign up and also I have a so this is the email account so now go to add the SMTP not email first of all in the host you have to add that mail.shakesy.com okay okay fine SMTP user so this is your SMTP user and this is your SMTP user okay the password is the same I have keep the password as same so this is my password sorry this is my password but in this time one two three with the dollar sign so you have to use this port because uh, I'm just going to tell you because I'm not using the SSL certificate uh, for this one if you are using the SSL certificate you have to use the port 465 so as you can see it's none SSL settings so that's why I have to use 587 settings here okay fine so it's also fine SMTP timeout is uh, 15 and also the ver mail type is not text it's a html that means you can send the uh, html tags in your email okay fine everything is now working fine what you need you just need to open your coding letter for documentations and also you have you definitely have the library which is the library available in the libraries sections email setting so now as you can see you have you have the email settings like this you have to access the uh, service email and you need few things so copy all these bad boys first of all now here add these bad boys that means you are calling the email service and also I'm saying where you are sending the emails uh, I'm saying I'm sending the emails from here so I'm sending the emails from here and the name of the email I'm saying activate the account 
and now where you want to send your email so I'm saying I want to send the emails for this particular user fine so we have to remove the CC and BCC and the text is the subject is activate the account where I'm saying at shakzi.com or whatever you are using the in this time I'm using only the testing email so as you can see we have the print debug so this is the print debug we have okay so this is a print debug fine I'm saying okay here I'm also using print debug okay fine uh, so what you need go to the page fill the form let's suppose I'm filling this form I'm saying Shakzi I'm saying in this time Shakzi 171 at gmail.com password is KK okay just click on the create account wait for a few seconds as you can see uh, it's working fine for now so now go to your email address so this is my email address and now here as you can see I have just received the email from my system so as you can see it's saying testing the email address so this is the testing the email address okay fine but you need to send the email as a HTML so okay so now I'm going to create the HTML format so you can send the HTML format to the particular user so we have tested the email so this is the string so now I'm saying this is my message so as you can see I'm saying this is my message okay so this is the empty now I'm saying uh, please activate the account first of all and I'm concatenate this one I'm using the anchor it takes uh, three parameters I'm saying user activate function plus I'm going to send this link to the users because we are uh, also adding this link here so activate activate account activate now so it takes three third parameters but I'm not going to provide the third parameters you can also send the associative array here by using the ID and something like that now what you need just need to send this particular as an email so let's try again I'm going to send another method or oh, go to the page refresh the page so now uh, refresh the page as you can see I have just received click on this one so as you can see it's saying please activate your account and this is the uh, link activated link uh, when you click on this link so as you can see it's saying activate and also uh, the string which we are generating and this is the uh, method name so what you need just need to create the method this is the method and accept the one parameters so I'm saying this is the method and I'm saying uh, link here okay if I click on this uh, link sorry echo link here so go to the page refresh the page as you can see it's saying link here so this is the one step the second step you have to check that this link is available in your database or not uh, and similar things what you need you just need to create the instance new uh, mod user and now create the user okay I'm saying user and now I'm saying where it takes two parameters the key and the value uh, I'm saying where the link so this is the link uh, we are storing in the database I'm saying where the link is this and now I'm saying find all so I'm saying find all so definitely it it give you the results check user link now bar dump and remove this one okay so check link 
so now we are going to open this bad boy because we are going to create the proper things now i'm saying if i'm if you send the email you can also wrap it in this email that means if you send successfully the email then the second step no 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 because we are testing the okay fine copy this one copy the entire code if you send if you insert the value in your database then send the email fine okay so now i'm saying i'm going to use a user i'm saying shigzi in this time i'm saying shigzi 171 at gmail.com and password is two time k so create the account now definitely i receive so as you can see i have just created the account so go to the database refresh the database so this is the shigzi 171 and this is the uh, string you have created and go to the email section so you can see this is the email we have received uh, zero minutes ago when you click on this one so as you can see you are receiving the values here so this is one you are receiving the array one because why you are receiving as array because you set the array here so i'm saying uh, if you have the result let's suppose i'm saying count equals to count equals to one or count greater than zero that means you have successfully received the values or your value is already exist why you are doing this i'm saying let me give you one example i am saying exists uh, fine otherwise i'm saying i have to uh, not found value not found value or you can say link not available link not found okay so remove this one so go to the page refresh the page as you can see link is fine let's suppose if someone change the url then what happens as you can see it's saying link net found so that's why we are wrapping we are checking an uh, an if statement so now you are receiving the values so you have to change another things like uh, you are going to update the values so now how can you activate this account because by default the account is deactivated so you have to activate the account by updating the value from 0 to 1 so now i am saying data and so this is the associative array okay now i am saying equals to 1 and the data is uh, i think uh, uh, it's a u status u u status and now i am saying user and i am saying update it takes two parameters first of all the id so the id of the users so this is because you are receiving the values here so i'm saying count so this is the uid and the data is this bad boy you are just updating the data okay so i'm saying activate activate user and now i'm saying if if you update the result then show me that everything everything is fine otherwise show me not fine okay so now go to your so now go to your email address click on this one so as you can see it's saying everything is fine so go to your uh, database refresh the page so now as you can see you have updated the values first of all from 0 to 1 and you have 
uh, updated the date also because your system is also updating the date so in this way you can activate the account you can send the email to the user and you can send anything here so i think this is enough for today in the next lecture we are going to cover some other topics so i hope you are enjoying this series if you think we are doing good feel free to share our courses and also the videos and don't forget to click on the subscribe button so thank you for watching